Hi Pisces, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your April 2024 Tarot and Oracle card reading. This is a reading for all Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We'll see what's going on here as we close out Pisces season. Happy birthday if you celebrated one. Let's begin. What advice do you have for Pisces, please? What does Pisces need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Pisces? Okay, we will do a detailed Celtic cross style reading with the oracle cards. The oracle cards have already been shuffled. This is the Moonology Manifestation Deck. New Moon in Gemini. Think it through, okay? Think it through. So if something's weighing on you, but even more than that, feel it through because your feelings are the real secret. Current situation, the Empress with the Three of Cups, both threes. You've got the Ten of Wands in your subconscious, death in the distant past, the Four of Cups in the more recent past, the Nine of Wands coming towards you. You're represented by the Fool. You're attracting a Two of Cups. In the, your hopes and fears, you have the world, strength, and the outcome. I like this a lot. Oh, this is juicy too. The bottom of the deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune, the Lovers, and the King of Wands. I'm telling you what, if things have been a bit stagnant, if you've had a bit of a case of the doldrums, like this is just not giving me any zhuzh, any oomph. I need to do something here. Maybe zhuzh up my life a little bit. This is where it all begins. So you're attracting a match with the Two of Cups. Shall we say more? So we have here seven major arcana. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, seven major arcana. That is huge. In, in that major arcana or major life events, okay, arcana comes from arcanum in Latin, meaning mysteries or secrets, secrets revealed, information revealed that is going to have you heading towards your goals, your dreams, this especially, I like the, um, I mean, I like, I could pull in half the deck, let's be honest here, but I like this, okay, with the, the, Energy of the world, the wheel, and the lovers, all right? So whatever it is that you're asking about, yes, it's a yes. You're moving towards perfect victory. But you do have here the infinity symbol a couple of times too. So new opportunities coming in. If you're single right now, I feel like you have love headed straight for you with the lovers and the two of cups here. And I do feel like too, it's time to shed the old. It's time to be done with the past. If there's somebody too that keeps guilt tripping you and bringing up the past, I just don't feel like their energy is great for you. Now, before I go too far, you have Leo, Scorpio, Gemini is here, Aquarius, Taurus. Uh, who else? Did I miss anybody? I hope not. So with this energy, the wheel brings in answers to questions. It helps you to let go of what no longer serves you. And so even if it's a goal that you had at one point had, and it just seems like it's too arduous, you have both the nine and ten of wands. It seems like you keep finding roadblock after roadblock. I feel like it's more of a course correction, okay? It's, it's opening up. And I also feel like, too, be careful what you wish for. So I feel like somebody here, the more that you get stopped, it's like the more they're saying, this is not going to go how you want it to. And so the minute you release that is when I feel like you have brand new opportunities coming in. Even if it's something where you put on a deposit and you're having to fight like heck, to get your money back. I'm not telling you not to, okay? Get your money back if they're doing something to swindle you out of it or just being lazy. Like some somewhere money is caught up is what it feels like. I do see that as getting released, but I also feel like the the answer is not going back into that and trying to like, you know, renegotiate something. If it, Even if it's something like travel and you say that is just not gonna work. I feel like there's or if there was some kind of weather-related incident and you say this is not a good place to visit anymore or some other issue, you say this is no longer the right time for this. The wheel is going to help you make new plans and come into a much better situation where you can feel easy because when you feel, you wake up and you have tension in your chest. That is not a good sign, okay? So with the energy of the lovers and the wheel, the lovers represents choices. And it's not about giving up as much as, like I said, being open to something new. Now, if it's a job where at one point you really loved it, but something changed 
and you had something happen here. I feel like with that nine and 10 of wands and the king of wands here, it's time for you to make a move and it's not gonna be just a lateral move. It is an upgrade. So if there's some ability to transfer where you already work and you say that may be just a tiny bit outside of my experience level or some other level, I feel like go for it. They don't have people is what I'm getting. And not that I'm <laughs> downplaying what you offer, but I do feel like you have you have an opportunity that you may capitalize where there's a deficit, that you can fill a deficit space. In terms of love though, you have such an incredible match. I mean, you have a soulmate coming in here. You have the Archangel Raphael with this Two of Cups brings in a matchmaker. Even if it's something like going to a new gym or going to a new place, just to freshen up your energy a little bit, get yourself out there, okay? If you're, you know, single and you do some kind of, you know, pickleball or something, go to a park you've never been to. Go to a crowded park where it's like they've got 20 courts or 50 courts and they're flourishing and fall. There's 80 people out there or more. No, it's more than that. Okay, anyway, it's like 160 people. How about that for math? So even if there's only 20 courts. So I do feel like with this, you have... A, an, an energy here that is pushing you forward. Now, if it's a relationship and it's somebody that you've newly met, you have engagement here, you have commitment here. And with this energy all together, okay, isn't this great for love if that's what you're asking about, Pisces? And I feel like too, if you've come into a decade where perhaps in the last decade, you had a serious relationship that didn't run the distance. I do feel like you're going to come into something that is such a better fit. I also feel like you have wisdom from whatever didn't go where you thought it was. Okay, if you thought you were going to be with the person now and you no longer are, you have great wisdom from that. And this next one is real love. I'm not saying the last one wasn't, but I feel like there were some things about it. I heard propri proprietary conflicts. What I feel like they're trying to say, there were things about it that were not going to change. They just were not going to evolve and there may have been love there, but there were some conflicts of interest or something, some personal things, some ideals, perhaps again, those things in life, morals, values, ideals though. I feel like it was more goal oriented, but I do feel like if you didn't have a relationship that it lasted the way you thought it was, you have love coming in. So we love the threes. Now, if it's not a uh, a relationship. The Empress is the multiplier of forms and ideas. She's the path to the heart. She is a sign. It's time to get busy. You have it multiple times here, Pisces. So if you have a great idea, I feel like it's time to launch it. If you have some idea about some way to make money, something new that you want to try, again, that you've been sitting on for a while, I wouldn't keep sitting on it. You don't want to be here in a year from now saying, God dang it, I didn't do it again. I sat here for a whole nother year. If you're a writer, get writing. If you have uh, music in your soul and your blood, get recording, get singing. I mean, there are people that are producing music on YouTube. They're running like these, one guy does his own music, I don't know how, but he's running chats and it's like getting all these views because he has a live stream going. And it's really his own creative use of YouTube. I mean, I don't know much about the music, but it's doing something because he's figured out how to capitalize on the in the format that he's using. So again, if you have some great idea that you say this is the year, it is your year to go for it. So with the Three of Cups, you also have reunion here. So if you have any plans, we mentioned about money, getting money back. If you have plans for a vacation, you're meeting up with people that you haven't seen in a while, it's gonna be great. I feel like there's gonna be tons of reminiscing and laughing and fun. And it does exactly what your soul needs. It lights your soul afire being with this, being in this this feeling of support and love. That's why we're here. We're not really here for this, but we are here to learn lessons. So there is a method to the madness. This 10 of wands, I feel like in your subconscious is saying it's time to complete a burdensome cycle. So if there has been something that you know needs to end, it's time to put down these wands. If you've been taking care of someone who does nothing in return, they just don't seem to appreciate it or it's it's absolutely exhausting. I feel like with this one, it's really that final push. Now, if it's something that you're completing, like your education and you go, I know I've got one semester left, I'm just gonna grind it out, do it and move forward. Do not string it out any longer than it needs to be because we don't wanna string this out. It's just tedious. And this is when we can, you know, over time, we talk about being burned out. Really, that's a polite way of saying we're getting a low level of depression. 
in some cases, okay, where it continues and continues and we go, I can hardly put one foot in front of the other. It may be something more. So don't stay here. With the energy of death in the past here, the distant past, I do feel like it's put you on a new course with this, all right? So if something changed and you had to let go of something, if you, like I said, had the loss of a relationship, this is a transformational energy that says it is about letting go, a relationship, a career. In some cases, if it was a goal and you realized that that goal was a bit out of reach for whatever reason, the universe saved you from entering into a situation where you got over your head. But what this does is offers you a new beginning. When you let go, you receive. It's one of the greatest paradoxes in the universe. So with this, I feel like you may have had a decade of discovery, really learning about yourself, understanding yourself. And I also feel like you won't make the same mistakes twice in your next year to come and even the next decade to come. If you say last decade was a juggernaut, you had many painful lessons, you get it, okay, I don't need any more teachers here, that sort of thing, I feel like you're coming out of it. I also feel like this may be a symbol that backs that up because with the Four of Cups, there is interest in you, but again, you don't seem to reciprocate here much. And if it is somebody trying to come back around, I just feel like the damage is done. It's not because you do have the two, three, and four, here and so I feel like if this and there hasn't been any communication I just feel like with this nine of wands or something about it that says it just was too much okay I heard the damage was been done like I said and so I do feel like there's something about that the reason why you don't reach your hand out and say thank you for the cup this is great with this nine of wands here the wounded warrior if it is somebody who did a number on you mentally emotionally spiritually physically or financially I just feel like this is all about the the completion and the realization it's the time of enlightenment that leads you to a new beginning and talk about new beginnings there's none better than the fool this is you okay you stand in the sunlight of the spirit so anything new i feel like if you had money hanging out there you get it back and and it's this time where you say anything new can be created where you'll find that new opportunities come in where the old ones weren't working and so the fool takes you on a new path it's infinite opportunities it's like anything that you dream of you can do it if you can see it in your mind you can have it in your reality with this one so with the fool you're going to feel like you have an adventurous side to you that perhaps you didn't know was there or if it is if you said no i've always known it this is like really mastering your life and really having your goals become your day to day, okay? This is like when we talk about having a life so good we don't need a vacation. That's what this does for you. So if it's a business you've been wanting to start or like we talked about, some other gift that you have and turning that, I get into monetizing it. Okay, figuring out how you can monetize your gifts. There's nothing wrong with that. People are making tons of money. I just tried to watch a video on a channel I like on here that has millions of subscribers and he's been belly aching about being demonetized because of his content. Look, it's not like it used to be here. It's not a renegade network where you can do whatever you want. So now I've noticed you turn on, it's an ad. You watch for a minute, it's an ad. Then he comes on, he gives an ad. And it's just like, okay. So I do feel like with this, I'm sorry, I got us down a rabbit hole. If you know what I'm talking about, feel free to drop a comment. But you start to see that and you go, well, it's like, it's like letting go of the old and what was, and in some ways reinventing yourself. So with this two of cups, if it's love, it's head over heels, if that's what you're asking about. Either way, though, you have a complete match here, all right? There's nothing hidden here. And it's also, too, if it's a job or a business, it's going to fit you like a glove. You walk into it, and you feel like you were meant to be there. This is the kind of situation that's easy to be in. There's no forcing here. There's no pushing and pressing with this, it's like you let go and that's when it all begins. So of course with the world, it's the kind of energy where you just wanna stop time because it feels perfect. You're perfect in this moment. There's nothing here amiss. If it's a, if it is, this is a car to travel too. If it is some kind of trip that you've been waiting on, sacrificing for with the strength card, it shows true success. So whatever it is that you've been putting that effort for, I feel like things are about to get a whole lot easier it's almost like a dam breaking to me where it seems like, no, this is so much easier. This is things, everything moving forward. You have the infinity symbol here again, too, just to point that out. So good things are coming for you, but let's see 
what the whispers of love want to tell you to add in here. Okay, you have get to know each other, learn to meet another's need for love. So especially with new love, that person is going to be very eager. You have a curiosity about you as well with the full energy. Thorns. Okay, weathering challenges will bring in a new and positive future. So those of you that have been in that 9, 10 of wands state of mind, you're going to go into something that's a whole lot easier, thorn free. Okay, good things are on the way. I love you, Pisces, and I'll be back again soon.